G'day mates. Today I wanna to show you a really cool way you can remove the foam from your Dream Station 1 turbine casing without making any holes in it. All right, let's do it. All right, now first things first, I did not invent this technique, so I can't take credit for it. And I'm not sure who did, but whoever it is, congratulations. It's really clever and I think you've done a fantastic job. Now, for those that follow the channel, you might remember when we first took the foam out, we used a Dremel tool, cut some holes in the top and just pulled the foam out using a rusty old fish hook on the end of a lure. And that was very enjoyable. That was the first time around. And then we changed it so that you make the holes, the incisions, you can do it with a drill as well, on the inside where the motor sits. And that way, when you put the lid back on, everything is all sealed up. And that was cool as well. But with this technique, as you can see over here, I've removed the foam and there's no holes. So you don't have to make any changes to the turbine casing, which is just absolutely brilliant. So what we're gonna need is a drill. These things here, which are called drain weasels. And I'll see if I can zoom in on that. And you can see the end of the drain weasel there. It has little like Velcro hooks on the end of it. We're gonna use that to grab the foam through the holes. Suppliers, you might not necessarily need some of these, but I've got them here anyway. That's what I've been using. And I'm also gonna show you as well, while you've taken your motor out, how you can quickly take out the screws, give your motor a quick clean as well, just to make sure there's no foam inside the motor. All right, let's get to it. Here's one I just done earlier. You can see here the foam, but I've got another one. And we're gonna take it out of this. All right, let's do it. Now guys, if you wanna watch a video on how you can take apart your Dream Station 1 so that you can get to this component and then put it back together, just click the link above and that'll take you to a video. Now, just with your drill, you want it on a low speed. So you can see here it says one. We don't want it on number two. And with the torque, if you've got torque settings, I don't think it matters too much, but what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that you're just going nice and slow. You don't want it to go really, really fast, okay? So what we're gonna do here is with our drain weasel, we need to, to trim it a bit. So maybe about six inches, I think, is probably good. So sort of that sort of distance, you can see there. And now we're just gonna put it in our drill. All right, so it looks like that. And now for the first side, uh, we'll do, uh, which side we'll do? We'll do this side first. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put it up through there. So you can see it's going in through there. Just use a bit of force and jam it up in there and then just nice and slow. And you should see it start to grip. See it's starting to grip and turn. Now once it's, once it's sort of gripped, you can see it's gripped there. What I do is I take it out and use pliers. Just grab some pliers and just grab it nice and close. Just be gentle if you want to get it out in one piece. Keep moving it up closer. Guys, you wouldn't believe that. I've hit pause for a quick wee, come back and forgot to hit the record button. And that was my last chamber. I got it out perfect. That was my last original Dream Station 1 chamber. I've just done a little bit more footage using the replacement turbine casing that I got from Amazon. It's not quite the same, but you get the idea anyway, all right? Now, because I broke this second part when I was getting it out through this hole, this one here, it's a little bit harder. Um, it was just a little bit more challenging. It took a little bit more time to get it out. But so try and keep it in one piece if you can. It just nice and slow, nice and easy when you're pulling it out. Don't pull it out too fast. Try and keep it in one piece. Now, while you have taken your Dream Station one apart, you might as well, while you've done it, open up your turbine 
and give that a good clean as well. This is one of the things I actually like about Philips is that you can take out the turbine, open it up and clean it. Whereas the ResMed turbines are completely sealed. You can't really get access to the fans. You can try doing a little bit of air compression, um, but it's quite challenging uh, either way. So some of you might've seen that S9 video I did a couple of days back showing how much, how much dirt and debris and dust was in that S9 turbine. If it was like this, you can just, just pop off that end part there. That just sort of pulls off, just a bit of rubber. Just keep, there you go. Right, you can have a look at that. And if you've got just a little brush, a fine brush, just give it a, if you've got like a little, little blower as well, you could just, yeah, just give it a good old clean. Anyway, just give it a good old clean any way you like, and then put it back together, put screws back in, and then you've got yourself a nice clean turbine ready to go. That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And as always, look after your mates and I'll see you soon. Bye.